Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. YSL Lano de Lone Blue Electric is one hell of a good fragrance that has only one problem and that's the fact that it's very very hard to find and actually a lot of people are saying that this has been already discontinued. So in order to experience the spirit of YSL Lano de Lone Blue Electric you actually have to uh, turn your attention to the clone fragrances that are cloning this scent. So this video today is going to be about uh, you know the clones of YSL Lanoi de Lone Blue Electric. It's going to be a fragrance battle between three fragrances that are cloning the, the original scent. The first one comes from the house of Fragrance World and it's called Jack of Clubs. The second one is uh, from the house of Latafa and it's called Al Nashama Caprice. And the third one might surprise you a little bit, but it comes from the house of Grand Dior and it's called Iconic Nuit Per Homme. So join me in this video today where I compare all three uh, clones of uh, Blue Electric and I tell you which one is the best deal in my opinion. First of all, let's quickly check out the bottle design of uh, all three fragrances. And the most unique bottle design is reserved for Jack of Clubs from Fragrance World. Now, the bottle itself actually has a pretty standard shape, uh, but when you add in the interesting looking cap, I think uh, that makes uh, the whole bottle design pretty unique. Uh, you get that Jack of Clubs sign on the front, you get the Jack of Clubs sign that's uh, incorporated into the bottle, into the, uh, you know, the cap design. All in all, it's a pretty unique looking bottle with the cap on. Another unique looking bottle, but in a bad way, is Al Nashama Caprice. Now, the bottle itself actually looks pretty nice without the cap but I absolutely hate the cap design on this thing I've said this many times before but it just feels cheap looks cheap feels hollow as well and the bottle actually looks a lot a lot better without the cap on but once you put the cap on it really uh, sort of ruins the bottle design at least for me and sort of the nicest and the most classical look when it comes to the bottle design is reserved for iconic nude from Grand Dior and in fact without the cap on this bottle has the closest uh, you know look and feel uh, compared to the original scent. The cap design is a uh pretty different compared to the original but one good thing about this bottle is actually the fact that it has a magnetic cap now the magnets aren't that strong to hold the, the, the whole bottle the weight of the bottle because the bottle is actually very very heavy but I think this has the most classical look and actually this is my most favorite uh, bottle design out of the three fragrances. The next thing that I want to talk about is the actual scent profile of all three clones and how close they are to the original fragrance. But first of all, a few quick words about the original. YSL Lano de Lone Blue Electric is a nice, interesting, fresher take on the original DNA of Lano de Lone. You get that, still get that very creamy, very sexy uh, combination of uh, some oods, uh, cardamom and lavender. But in here, you know, YSL have added an interesting fresh twist. They've added the note of ginger that really adds quite a lot of freshness uh, to the uh, opening of this fragrance and really changed the whole DNA uh, enough to make it unique and also to make it, you know, more versatile compared to the original fragrance and now let's talk about the scent of the three clones featured in today's episode of fragrance battle now two of those, those those three clones actually have some small twists compared to the original scent profile and those two are jack of clubs from fragrance world and latafas al nashama caprice when it comes to jack of clubs what the fragrance world have done here they've added a nice amount of citrusy freshness in the opening instead of that ginger freshness that you get out of the original fragrance and also a nice amount of ambery sweetness so Jack of Clubs feels like a slightly more citrusy and slightly uh, sweeter take on the original DNA, especially in the opening. When it comes to Al Nashama Caprice, again, here you have uh, a little bit more amped up uh, sweetness compared to the original scent. But also one other thing, in one other way that this differs compared to the original is the amount of powderness that you get out of uh, Al Nashama Caprice. It feels like it has uh, quite a strong uh, sort of a tonka bean note in here that adds quite a lot more powderness compared to what you get out of Lanoi de Lone Blue Electric. But on the dry down, both of them actually come very close to the original scent, but still Jack of Clubs feels like a little bit sweeter take on the original DNA and Al Nashama Caprice again feels a little bit sweeter, although not as sweet as Jack of Clubs and also feels a little bit more powdery. But both of them, especially on the dry down, actually do a pretty good job at copying the original fragrance. But the best one when it comes to the closeness to the original scent will be Iconic Nuit from Grand Dior. This fragrance actually captures the spirit of the original 
in the opening and on the dry down the best out of the three fragrances featured in this video and whereas the other two feel more like a twist uh, on the original scent iconic nude feels like a one-to-one -one clone now one minor difference that i pick up uh, in iconic nude compared to blue electric is the fact that the cardamom note in iconic nude actually feels a little bit stronger compared to the uh, you know the cardamom note used in ysl blue electric but other than that this is very very close it has uh, pretty much the same amount of ginger freshness in the opening and the dry down feels super super close to the original so scent wise this is the closest thing out of the three that you can get to the original Lanoi Delon Blue Electric. Grand Dior have done a fantastic job at copying the original scent, whereas the other two feel more like a small twist on the original scent. When it comes to performance, again a few quick words about the original fragrances. Uh, Lanoi Delon, uh, you know, the original, the OG Lanoi Delon has never been the best performer in the world, especially the current formulations, uh, which tend to be more on average performance. Now, Blue Electric addresses some of uh, that. Uh, sort of problems and uh, in my uh, sort of in my experience uh, blue electric has been giving me about eight hours of performance with moderate projection in the first about one and a half hours just keep that in mind as a sort of a reference point and the weakest clone out of the tree in here has been iconic new it from grandeur this fragrance has been giving me about six and a half to seven hours of performance so about one hour less uh, total performance when it comes to uh, the original fragrance compared to the original fragrance and also when it comes to projection initially this opens up a little bit stronger compared to blue electric but that quickly dries down to more of a skin scent and the sort of the nice projection uh, of iconic new it lasts only for about one hour so this has been the weakest performer total performance about seven hours with uh, nice projection in the first one hour in second place when it comes to performance uh, is uh, reserved the second place is reserved for jack of clubs from fragrance world performance wise the total performance has been pretty much uh, the same that i get out of the original fragrance about eight hours of performance but one area where this is stronger compared to blue electric is the projection first of all it projects uh, louder compared to the original fragrance and also it projects for a longer time Jack of Clubs has, has been giving me a, a louder projection compared to uh, Blue Electric for about two hours. So total performance is equal when it comes uh, to the original fragrance, but it uh, uh, you know it out projects the original. Let's call it that. And the best performer out of the bunch uh, in here in today's video for me has been Alna Shama Caprice. This fragrance has been giving me about nine hours of performance, so at least one hour over the original fragrance, but one air where it beats the original and beats the other two clones comfortably is the projection. Alna Shama Caprice has been uh, a pretty loud fragrance uh, in my experience for especially for the first two to two and a half hours. So the best performer in the in today's episode of Fragrance Battle is reserved for Alna Shama Caprice. The next thing that I'm going to talk about will be the price tag and usually you know for me the winner of the price tag round is the fragrance with the lowest price tag. Now two of the fragrances featured today are actually pretty similar when it comes to the you know their prices uh, but for me the most expensive in my experience has been Jack of Clubs uh, with a minor difference. Jack of Clubs usually you know the original price of this thing should be about 25 to 30 euros uh, and 30 35 dollars in the US uh, but the problem with this fragrance is that it's pretty hard to find and sometimes uh, prices for this can uh, you know reach absurd uh, levels uh, and also one other factor in here that you have to price in is the fact that this bottle is 80 milliliters so this has been in my experience the most expensive fragrance and you also get the least amount of juice so jack of clubs actually comes in third place when it comes to the pricing round in second place will be alna shama caprice now when this was initially released uh, and it uh, you know uh, generated some amount of hype this used to cost about 30 35 euros but nowadays the price tag is closer to the 25 euro mark and here you get 100 milliliters and this is also the best performing fragrance so Alna Shama Caprice is in second position when it comes to the price tag and for me the cheapest fragrance uh, featured in today's video has been Iconic Nuit from Grandeur this thing uh, I paid about 18 euros to get Iconic Nuit which in my opinion makes it a fantastic deal because this is the closest thing sent was to the original fragrance and also is the cheapest so the winner in the pricing round will be Iconic Nuit from Grandeur 
And when it comes to the versatility, there is no winner in the versatility category because all three fragrances are super close to each other scent-wise and they're equally versatile. All three of them are fantastically versatile scents that can be worn all year round for any type of occasion. And on to my final words, my final thoughts and the final results of this episode of Fragrance Battle. Now I'll break down the final results in uh, three different parts. The first part will be about for those of you who are looking to get the closest scent to the original La Nuit de Long Blue Electric. And if you're looking for that then in my opinion you should go for Iconic Nuit from Grand Dior. This thing has the closest uh, scent profile compared to the original scent, uh, even feels a little bit stronger on the caramel note in the opening, but all around it captures the spirit of the original fragrance the best and uh, it has decent performance and another good thing about Iconic New it is the fact that it's the cheapest scent in this uh, episode of Fragrance Battle. So for me, if you're simply looking for the best you know, clone uh, of uh, La Nuit de Long Blue Electric scent-wise, the closest clone, then your winner should be Iconic New It from Grandeur. If you're looking for the best performing clone of La Nuit de Long Blue Electric, then your winner should be Alna Shama Caprice. It does a good job at copying the original scent, adds a few minor twists, this feels a little bit slightly sweeter compared to the original and also a little bit more powdery. But one area where this definitely beats the, the original is the performance. It lasts longer compared to the original scent and it projects way harder compared to the original fragrance. So if you're looking for the best performing clone of La Nuit de Long Blue Electric, then your winner should be Al Nashama Caprice. And then there's my winner of today's episode of Fragrance Battle, of this episode of Fragrance Battle, which is Jack of Clubs from Fragrance World. And I'll give you a few reasons why that's the case. Uh, you know, this is not a straight up one to one clone to Lanoid de Lone Blue Electric. Uh, you know, Fragrance World have done, uh, uh, you know, a few small twists here and there. They've added some citrusy freshness in the opening uh, instead of the ginger freshness. They've also added a small amount of ambery sweetness in here. But the end result, you know, the scent of Jack of Clubs has been the most enjoyable out of the three fragrances that, uh, you know, I'm comparing in uh, today's video. Also, this fragrance has good performance. It lasts as long as the original fragrance outperforms it when it comes to the projection and it has the most unique looking bottle and there are only two cons about this fragrance the first one is that it can be sometimes pretty hard to find especially here in Europe and the second uh, you know the second con about this fragrance is the bottle size which is 80 milliliters I would really would have loved if fragrance world have actually went for a hundred milliliter bottle size but for me my personal winner of today's episode of fragrance battle is Jack of Clubs from fragrance world so guys, in today's episode of Fragrance Battle, I compared for you three great clones of La Nuit de Long Blue Electric from uh, YSL. The first one, Iconic Nuit from Grandeur. The second one, Jack of Clubs from Fragrance World. And the third one, Alna Shama Caprice from the House of Latafa. I hope that you found this video helpful or entertaining. If you did, give it a like. And I also hope that you're going to join me in the next one. And until then, stay safe and bye-bye.